hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My doggo is here. You can hardly see him because he's looking at the ground, which is where all of his fun things are. But um, I figured I would do this video. I've gotten a couple of requests to do this. And this is going to be Doyle's go-to foods. So these are all of his snacks and treats and food that he eats. And I think just a lot of people are curious as to what other people feed their animals. Um, I will tell you right now, Doyle is a Shiba Inu. He is 11 years old and I have had him since he, I think eight or nine weeks. I can't remember if it was eight weeks or nine weeks, but I've had him since then. He has been on and off different kinds of foods and diets. Um, probably when he was about, I think like seven or so, six or seven, he started to develop uh, more itchy skin and would lick his paws. He still does lick his paws from time to time, but at that point he was kind of licking them raw. So the vet at the time that I, I was living in a different place told me that I should put him on a limited ingredient diet. So I did that and it really alleviated a lot of um, his itchiness. So anyway, that helped him. I'm not a vet, I don't know what's gonna help your dog, but um, but yeah, he doesn't uh, lick like he used to, so that's good. But um, yeah, he's a little tiny guy. See, wee. So I went to Petco the other day. I will leave links for all of the items that I talk about down below. I'll probably do Amazon links if I can find them there because not everybody has Petco's in their area. So I'll put Amazon links for all the products that I'm talking about today. First things first, his food I did not get because I didn't need his food. Doyle will probably be up and down a little bit. Hi, buddy. I know, I know. <laughs> But the food that he gets is from this brand. It's Natural Balance. It's the LIT, it's the limited ingredient treat or limited ingredient food or whatever. Um, this is the sweet potato and fish formula in the treats. I do get the small breed treats. They're just a little bit smaller than the other ones, just depending on the size of your dog. Um, Doyle is only about 17 pounds. He's pretty small. So um, I just give these to him and he likes them. So the food that I get is also from this um, Natural Balance brand. And I believe I get the potato and duck. I want to say is the one that I get him. It's like a yellow bag, um, but I just didn't need any when I went to the store and I probably won't need any for a few more months, probably like in June, July, I'll probably need another bag, but I do get the biggest bag possible because I have like a big container in my kitchen that I use. So I just decant it into there and it just works out great. So I actually ended up getting two of these. You'll kind of see Doyle doing his thing over there. I think it was like they were on special. I think they were like a buy one, get one half off or something like that, I don't know. So anyway, the next item, can you sit down and be nice boy? And not bump that. The next item that he really likes are these. They're the, just like the little training rewards. Um, Natural Balance had these before, but I couldn't find them at my local Petco, but um, they're very, very similar. These are the chicken flavor training rewards. Um, they're just like little pellets kind of, but these are great. I usually give him one of these after a walk and then um, These ones I usually give him when he's time. It's time for kennel time But since I've been unemployed, I haven't I've kind of been like doing like every other time just to like Make the treats even I guess but this is from a brand called pet botanics um, but like I said, I normally get this natural balance brand they just didn't have it when i went but um if i can find either of these i will link them both below i know it's very exciting buddy and the last item i got were these um i think they're called yeah natural dog treats they're called whimsies and these are the sticks and they're the small petite i really like what it comes in i'm not gonna keep it in this at all but there's a couple of different or colors but they're like I don't know they're just they've got it's hard to see but they're supposed to be like kind of more like dental chew kind of things yeah dental care so um and then they're vegetarian gluten-free not that he's a vegetarian or gluten-free but um but yeah that's those are the things that I give him I also picked up when I was there this, um, I'm going to be giving him a bath pretty soon. People ask a lot how often Doyle gets a bath. And to be honest, he hates baths so much. He's a very, very clean dog. So I typically only give him a bath about twice a year. Um, but I keep up with like his grooming and um, I get his 
nails done about every quarter, I would say, but I actually take him to the vet for that because I can't do it myself. He absolutely hates that. Really any grooming he doesn't really like, but I did pick this up um, on a recommendation from a friend. I knew I wanted to go with an oatmeal shampoo just because of Doyle's uh, like more susceptibility to itchy skin. He doesn't really have itchy skin right now at the moment, but this is from Burt's Bees for dogs. It's an oatmeal shampoo and um, yeah, that's, that's what I got. They did have some really nice options. They had some dry shampoos as well, but this is obviously a liquid shampoo. It smells like a regular shampoo, but um, you know, I like to get one specialized for a dog if I can. So got this and this will probably last me the rest of his life, to be honest. So I totally forgot, but let me um, show you the containers that I use to store all of Doyle's treats. So these are the containers that I like to use. They have a really nice etched pattern on them. I actually got them at the dollar store, the um, threshold, or not, they're not even threshold brand. They're just a glass jar. If you want information, there it is. I hope it's coming out for you guys. There you go. Um, but yeah, they were at the dollar section in Target um, a couple of months back. So they all match and then they all have this top that kind of seals it in so it doesn't smell like doggy things. Those are my other two right there and I am going to fill them all up right now. So that's it, those are the doggo treats and how I store them. You can obviously use any type of container that you have on hand, but I do recommend using ones that have more of a sealed top to prevent some of those like dog treat smells in your kitchen or in whatever area that you store your animals treats in. Okay, so that is gonna be it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Doyle is very, very overstimulated right now with all the treat action going on, so I'll have to give him a treat for being a a good little guy during this whole thing and uh, letting me taunt him a little bit. So anyways, feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also feel free to subscribe. Um, you can also hit the little bell notifications. I don't have a regular posting schedule, but I do upload when it's ready. So um, I, my goal is to at least upload once to twice a week, um, if not more. So anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful day no matter where you are and I'll see you in the next video. Doyle, are you excited? Yeah, and if you guys wanna see more of Doyle, uh, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I typically post photos and videos of him and my stories uh, quite a bit, so yeah, because he's, he's a very demanding dog sometimes. Right, bud? Right. <laughs> okay, see you guys later, bye! Good boy, high five, yeah!